Hey everybody, welcome into this new tutorial of making some project management. I'm going to show you an amazing platform that's going to be helping us to build like a new way of working to manage our projects and all that. And if you have a, you're part of a team member, um, and you have a lot of task management, you have to make some marketing or creative and design. This is the application for you. So in this tutorial, guys, I'm going to show you how this Monday works. Now, I'm going to leave you a link down below in the description, guys, so you can get started and you can get more than a free plan. You might be getting a great, great resources in order for you to understand this great application. Now, what I'm going to do here is to get started. Well, before, uh, actually, this is going to look like when you click into the link down below, it's going to be asking you what would you like to manage with Monday.com work OS. So we have creative design, we have software development, we have a lot of sections out in here. And today we want to stick around with the project management, which is actually in here. And I'm going to go into get started. Now it says welcome to Monday, enter your email. I'm going to put in here my name and create a password in order to continue. I agree to the terms of service and the privacy policy. Now it's going to be asking us what brings you here today? Let's say work. What base describes your current role? If you are a team leader, if you are a team member, you can choose that. In our case, you want to choose something like freelancer and go into continue. Now select what you'd like to manage first. Now in here, guys, you want to choose, for example, uh, project management. What would you like to focus on first? Project management, go into continue. And depending on the results, depending on the answers that you choose, Monday is going to be helping us creating like sort of a template so we can get used to the application, right? If you want to invite someone else, you can add it in here uh, to your project. In my case, I'm going to do that later. So I'm going to go into remind that later. Welcome. Give your board name reflection what you're working on. So let's say, for example, this one is called Gek project go into next what would like to manage right so in here we want to manage some projects go into next we're going to make these groups in here and here we have project number one project number two let's say for example that i want to use task number one and this is going to be task number two i'm going to get started and this is going to be creating our boat now once again it's going to be setting up for us like just a little template in order for understanding how it work so if you want to learn more, you can click into the help section. And here we have the main workspaces. This is my workspace, but in a specific project. If I want to choose a new one, I can go into add item to workspace. I can add a new board. I can choose a template if I want to, which is actually more easier. Uh, so let's say, for example, that you want to look for something that content production, right? So in here, there's a content calendar. There's some creative process, video production management depending on what you're trying to achieve or create, you can choose your template. Let's try with social media planner. I'm going to use this template. And here into this template, actually, it's really easy to just move things around. So for example, we have month number one. This is my social media planner. This is like a re recap of everything we're going to be seeing here. Social media plan. I'm going to, for example, put in here my YouTube channel number one. The strategy, we can put in here our gold, our audience, our success metrics. I'm going to scroll down. We can choose to edit. This is like uh, exclusively for team leaders, but you can mess around with that if you want to. And here into the social media, it's actually like an upper link for this section that we just clicked in that. So I'm going to go scroll down here and I can choose to change that if I want to. Right, so for example, October number one here into the post schedule, we can post on a specific data you want to, um, let's say, post our videos. And this part we can add, for example, we can change the name. Let's say I want to choose title, right? So I can choose the type of title. What kind of content category is this one? Who is going to be assigning this for? It is really interesting, guys, because if you want to work with more than one person, and I'm going to enter in here an email of this person and I'm going to invite that person into this specific task. And here's an image design. If you want to add like a document from a link from Google Drive from anywhere, you can do that. Design status. You can edit your labels. Let's say, for example, you want to uh, like 
working on it. Here's my URL with my video. I can choose an edit image right here. Well, in my case, I kind of don't like this. I can move that. Uh, let's say, for example, the time of the video, time estimate. If you want to delete something, I can use these three arrows and go into delete. Right, so it's going to be getting me these other opportunities. I'm going to just select this part. You can totally start from scratch if you want to. I mean, I can go in the plus option. I can go into new board and here into my board. I can put in here social media uh, manual board, right? So I have a main. I'm going to choose projects. I'm going to create my board. And in here, I can start actually like kind of from scratch you see here's my items but i think it's much more interesting to start from here because we already have uh lots of stuff so we already have failed by default which is actually great right so if i have the social media planners and i delete this folder now all my planners all my uh boards are not going to be deleted here into my project i want to add a new task let's say for example content number one and in here are my things that i have assigned so here's my project this is a task that i need to have this done correctly i need to have this already from this week so i can select this option status and go into done for example so now that this has been successfully done i can go into my applications as you can see, Monday.com has marketplace application that we can use to boost our stuff. For example, here works application on Monday.com works uh, really well is to put that into our calendars. So I'm going to use the Invent Calendar Pro. This is for a trial. This is for a plan that we can use. But for example, if you want to assign someone a task and you have an iPhone, your calendar might be helping you to boost that google calendar and outlook are going to be helping to do that as well if you want to look for some um, let's say applications that are totally for free all we can do is to go into the explore section and choose the all category section to see if there's something that we can use totally for free for example if you make google forms in here like in the embedder um we can add that into our account and actually we don't have to pay absolutely anything because this is a free um, application so i can start that into my application of monday i can exit from here i can go into my apps and in here i'm going to use this application so i can use the google forms to add a new board and let's say for example here i want to sell that into add feature and i can insert a url in order for making here a task in google forms and lastly guys if you choose the explore more sections in the product store it's going to be showing us monday stuff marker developments and projects that you can uh, try totally for free for 14 days but we actually going to stick around with the monday application as you can see it wasn't so hard to understand how it's working if you want to check out some plans uh, just in case you want to stick around to this application more than just totally for free here's the basic plan the standard plan and there are a bunch of options that you can choose in order for working in here now in my case i'm currently using a currency uh, my local country so you don't have to worry about these prices because let's say 160 mexican peso it's actually less than five dollars which is actually like for me it's really cheap so there are a bunch of things that you can use but if you have but if you have like a small company or you have something else where you have more customers you can always choose um, some more different and upgraded plans guys so there you have it just in case you have any questions you can leave it down below in the comment section once again i'm going to leave you a link down below in the description guys so you can have a 14 day trial mode of this uh, great plans if you are not ready yet, you can downgrade that to the free plan, of course, with your pro trial. I'm pretty sure you're going to love that. Thank you so much for watching this video, guys. Don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel, guys. And, well, I'll see you next time.